Advent versus Day 12, and in an interesting experience, um, the 12 on both of them are on the far right side. You can actually see the 12 on the Transformer box. So let's go ahead and rip into that one today. Okay, we've got another construction vehicle, but it doesn't look like it's the same mold. It doesn't look like it's the same mold, so let's actually give it a chance and hope for the best. So this is the final episode. This is the final video I'm doing in this round. I, I promise you, in the next round, the next time I stand up here to do filming for this series, uh, we will actually have a pair of scissors. So we don't have to keep going through this. All right. So we have not scavenger. Yep. Looking okay. Looks okay. It's in construction vehicle colors. The bucket actually does have two points of articulation, so it can actually move. They need to be a little bit tighter, but okay. Not too bad. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's not the same mold, thankfully. So we can actually get a somewhat different transformation out of this. So let's see uh, how this works. Oh. I didn't expect the double hinge, the double hinge down and the big feet folding out. What? What? Are you actually trying to be a toy? What's wrong with you? Uh, let's see. The arms are... <laughs> okay, I take back what I said. Uh, you're not trying very hard. Okay, so number one, you stand up much better than your brethren. Number two, you actually have a unique transformation to them. You are still doing that thing where you insist on your face having this ridiculously bright plastic that I cannot make out and is very hard to get into focus. It's a vaguely Optimus Prime head? Like, it's got a mouth plate and it's got the, the, the pointed ears and all that? But it's just so ridiculous. Oh, it has cannons for arms. It doesn't even have arms. It just has two pairs of cannons. Okay, so he's a tall boy who knows that he has T-Rex arms, so he just blasts everything from upon high. You know, honestly, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Why take to the high ground when you are the high ground? Okay, okay. This is actually amusing me. This is actually amusing me. So when I go to day 12 over here on the Mario, it's got to do something pretty silly right oh well okay this is not what i expected i am like i'm legitimately shocked this is not a development i could have foreseen so this advent calendar of knockoff Mario items actually has the gall to put both Mario Brothers in the same day. So you get Mario and Luigi at the same time. How does any Transformer stand up to that? I mean, I guess the only thing we can go off of is quality. How well are they done? Let's start with Luigi number one. Um. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm not a fan of the pose, especially that right arm doing that really weird elbow jank thing on the side. Uh, he is, oh, um, uh, Luigi, I, I'd see a doctor about that spot on your neck. Uh, I'm just, I'm not an expert, but I don't think that's very good. Uh, he's definitely suffering because that paints in just like super awkward spots. Um, yeah, and again, that pose is just super awkward. Okay, so it is a Luigi, but it's not a very great Luigi, you know? You know, and like, in these parts, we want Luigi to be great. Re put respect on the man. And the Mario. Oh, the Mario. Okay, so again, paint's a little bit sloppy on him. Under paint, under sprayed around the neck. This is where, like, that only paint one side is really hurting it because the sideburns look terrible and he just instead of his hair sticking out the back 
He just looks like he has these, like, tumors growing off the back of his neck. Like, it's super weird. I'm not a big fan of the eyes, either. The eyes look a little bit small. Uh, they're not really reaching the edge of the actual sculpting, so it's just kind of coming off a little bit weird. Um, for the knockoff calendar, they're not bad. They're not bad, but we've seen better out of the Mario stuff. This is a difficult day. <clears throat> this is a really difficult day. How do I grade this? Because the Transformer is fine. This is one of the better Transformers we've gotten out of this box so far. And, jeez, like, I can't... Okay. Hello, Editing TJ here. I'm going to save you the next few minutes of waffling and just let you know it's a draw. Uh, I can't deny that the Transformer is good, although awkward. I can't deny that the Mario Brothers in the same day are great, even if they're a little low quality. Frankly, there's no real way for me to parse this. So, to make things interesting and to avoid a tie at the end, today is going to be our one tie of the marathon. We parlay with the captain. You think a werecroc is going to listen to elvish rules of piracy. Of course it would be Got the freaking elves cool. that, that invented parlay. I had to think of a quick replacement for the French. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>